Hey all beautiful people out there, what's up? This is Ovjit Nair aka The Code Man. In this, uh, this is the first video of my graphical programming uh, in Java playlist. And in this video, we're gonna explore the java.awt package. AWT stands for Abstract Windows Toolkit. And it's a package which uh, has been there with Java since the first JDK and provides tools to for graphical programming in Java like making a form and putting text boxes, uh, you know, like fields, text fields, text boxes, radio buttons, like that. You can see the definition of AWT uh, package here in Wikipedia. It says that abstract window toolkit, AWT, is a set of application program interfaces, APIs, used by Java programmers to create graphical user interface, GUI objects such as buttons, scroll bars, and windows. AWT is part of the Java Foundation classes, JFC, from Sun Microsystems, the company that originated Java. Now, uh, I'm going to show you an example of, uh, the, uh, of a file or a Java program that uh, was created using the AWT, toolkit, uh, AWT package. So here is my command prompt from where I'm going to run form.java, which uh, uses components of AWT class to build a form layout. So I'm going to type java c form.java and then I'm going to execute it. And here is the result. As you can see, here is a name, name, name label, and a name text field which has a placeholder name in it. And then there is a drop down menu uh, there is list list of items radio buttons and a text area and a submit button and I have also added a window listener uh, which listens for uh, the close button on top of this and it terminates the program so now we're gonna write a very basic program that generates a uh, window using the frame class uh, so I'm gonna type out this line and here's a new this field we're gonna name it uh, we're gonna name it sample window sample window dot Java I'm gonna store it here this is our main method. First, we need to import the uh, AWT package. So, in order to do that, we need import java.awt.astro to import all the classes present in AWT package. And now we're gonna type out our class. We're gonna define our class, which is sample window sample window and we gonna extend the sample window class to the frame class now here I show you I'm gonna show you the Oracle docs of the uh, frame class of AWT package so here is our class frame and this uh, frame class uh, is a subclass of the window class of uh, AWT package and also the frame class implements the menu container um, interface which is used for event handling and other things window block so here is the documentation Java, uh, Oracle Docs here is the Java Oracle Docs documentation about the AWT package which you can go and read on the site and there are the uh, several methods definition of several methods that it, that is available in this class and you can see here uh, this string get title method re, boolean method such as is resizable is undecorated and there are a couple of more uh, classes which are very useful while create uh, doing graphical programming in Java so here we extend of uh, the class that we define and we extend that to the frame class and use it to make a window and 
now I'm going to define the constructor of this uh, class. So it's sample window. By the way, you can do this in a couple of ways. The first method that I'm showing is by extending the frame class. Uh, the second method will be by creating an object of the frame class. So the first method is going to, going to be this. So the frame class contains a method called set size, which sets the size of your window frame. So if I type here set size and uh, let me put a random value of 500 by 500. So this 500 corresponds to your uh, width and this one corresponds to your height. And type it out in comments. The syntax of set size method is width, comma height. And let's make the object a sample window. S equals to new sample window. And let's execute it. So we have Java C of just above. and now we're gonna um, compile our class which is our Java, uh, Java file which is sample windows dot Java oh file not found or oh, maybe the directory oh let me check that. Sample window we have it. It's oh, it's sample window, not sample windows. That's why we put sample window to Java. Yes, it compiled successfully, and now we're gonna execute it. There's an exception, could not find a load main class sample window. Why is it? Oh, I see. It should have been here. Now we're going to recompile it. And you see nothing. Why do you don't see anything? That's because we haven't set the visibility of our window. This end of the method, method in Java frame class which defines uh, uh, the visibility of the uh, window that we have to show that whether it should be uh, visible or not it's a boolean method and accepts a boolean value of true or false so we set the visibility to true and now we're gonna recompile it and here you see here is our window. Now, if you click on the cross button, nothing happens. And that's because we haven't defined any window listener for this action that have been taken. So in order to terminate the program, you just have to uh, do control plus C on your command prompt. And voila, here it goes. So this, uh, these two methods are very fundamental uh, these two methods are very fundamental methods of the frame class these two are required to create a frame in Java and you can also set the background color by typing set dot background and uh, the AWT class contains a um, class called color class which has some predefined colors which you can use to set the background of your frame color dot uh, suppose I type red and save it now we have we're gonna recompile it and here is it it's red now and again control C goes and now 
this is uh, now we have learned how to create a frame a window uh, using the frame clause of the AWD package now this thing that I have done here can be done in another way without extending the frame clause so let's see how to do that let me comment this out I remove this thing and here I define a frame object so it's gonna be frame j equals to new frame and here I'm gonna say j dot add s and then oh no we don't require this we're gonna just say j dot set size and it's gonna be 500 by 500 j dot set visible to true now let's compile this And here you have the window. Again, you have to press Ctrl C to terminate it. So that's it for this video tutorial. In the next video tutorial, we're gonna explore the paint method of the AWT class, which will be used to draw uh, strings, rectangles, ovals, and many more graphical uh, items on the uh, window that we generated using the uh, frame class of AWT. So if you like my video, pl uh, please hit the like button and also the subscribe button and uh, stay tuned for the next video. Peace.